We are Myth Vision. Welcome back to Myth Vision Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to miss this episode. We're going to be delving deep into the Scientologist world. But before we do, I want you to in, I want to introduce you to somebody. Somebody high ranking in Scientology. Karen Della Carrier, welcome to Myth Vision Podcast. Hello, Derek. I thought it would be a good idea to put on full Seog uniform. Wow. Because this is what the clergy, the Seog members, parade around in and dress up in, especially for events. Mm. The lanyards, the fruit salad, which is all the <laughs> medals you get for achievements. And um, I, I, I will tell you that the U.S. Navy has expressed severe resentment that there is this mockery of theft of using their uniforms mm -hmm. what is essentially a cult. I can imagine, and I don't blame them, to be honest with you. I get it. And yes, I could see why there's this confusion. It almost makes me want to go, yes, ma'am. <laughs> you know? How is this religious? What, what the symbology here is military and command and authority. And that's the image Hubbard wanted. He wanted, it's an authoritarian cult. And when you parade around with lanyards and shoulder epaulets and stuff, you Ribbons. want you want your you want obedience. You want obedience. Mm. So there's many a time I wore the different uniforms and was flown in to do missions. And and do you know they even replicated the Nazi dagger, there's a dagger that the Gestapo had. And when you get your full military uniform, you were given a dagger. And when you arrive in a certain place with mission orders, just to be theatrical and traumatic, you took out your dagger and you hurled it into the ceiling and it stuck the drywall and the room would get electrified. There's like, you meant business. And that wow. was, that's a Seog behavioral mannerism. You take out your dagger. And then when I looked it up on Wikipedia, I found this was a Nazi record. <laughs> oh, really? Oh my God. Can I send you so you can add in a picture? Can I send you the sword? The sword Absolutely. that you threw into the, and and this was done with great. They call it ethics presence. Ethics presence means the symbology of you is so strong that you better be ethical or else. And your presence alone would emanate a demand for that. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's all cult, it's all control, it's all, anyway. Yeah, well, you know, I, I wanted to have, not only did we want this to be fun and have you dressed up like it's Halloween all over again, right? You're, you're super dressed up, look at you. Um, mm -hmm. But I thought it'd be fun to share that Scientology is bragging right now. They're mm -hmm. bragging. They're acting, man, they have so much money. They have so uh, many people working for them. You name it. And these people are bragging about hitting a thousand videos, a thousand videos on YouTube. And, you know, I think it's time I show them. I think it's time I show them. Oh, so yes. I have this thing called TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a software built into your YouTube, and it shows you your channel compared to other channels. So for those who don't know, let me show you. The color blue right here is my channel. I'm a one-man army. I have all the ribbons you can't see and all the hats that you can't see that I'm wearing other than maybe this one here, okay? 
I have uh, these credentials you just don't even know about, right? But Scientology is this red one right here, the Scientology YouTube channel, okay? Look at this. This is a direct comparison. In the past 30 days, they have had 114,000 views on their channel. My channel has had 426,000. I don't know how many subscribers they have because it doesn't show me that. But it does show me the total amount of views that they've had on the channel. They've had more views on their channel altogether like than mine. All together throughout however long they've had this channel. However, it seems to me their impact is uh, fading pretty quick. Their channel is on a decline if you compare them. So while they're flaunting this uh, hat and ribbons and suits looking like the Navy out there, I'm secretly in disguise looking like the Navy SEALs, okay? I'm over here. I'm the real door banger. <laughs> I'm, just being, I'm, just being, I'm just being funny, but seriously. like That's really eye-opening because they have like 150 people working 60, 70 hour weeks called the Internet Unit. And you're a one-man band, and your weekly statistics of views is in a whole range higher. Yeah, th their line doesn't even touch. Their line, if you see the red, doesn't even touch. There's one place, and let me tell you the exact day, November the 7th, all right? On November the 6th, it looks like we almost touched. I was just below them on views for one day. On November the 6th and 7th. If you if their 6th was the 7th, they'd have beat me by, I don't know, a couple thousand views or something. I, it's hard mm. to tell. But mm. but yeah, no, they don't touch, uh, they don't even touch where I'm at in terms of views. And I'm a one-man band. <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, boy. You know, the, they've said for years we have 10 million members, 12 million members, da, 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 da. and all these lies have been completed. The more and more people that leave, for example, every good Scientologist is supposed to own an e-meter. This is mm -hmm. your artifact. This is what you're going to be using endlessly. And then they did a statistical count, and only 25,000 e-meters have ever been sold. Now that's a real measure and headcount. Remember this, this is a cult of, metri of metrics, statistics, statistics. Mm. And the reason that they can really do a headcount is meters traditionally have to be refer 12 million members, 11 million, just how, whenever they do a survey, like um, a statistical thing of religions, I, I really got to show you Scientology doesn't even get on the map when they show how many Muslims in America, how many Christians. Have you seen these? Mm -mm. I've seen them exaggerate numbers yeah. when they say that, oh, we've reached this many, that many, this, that. And you know what really gets me when I look at their channel? Just an example of this. When I look down and I see their most viewed videos that they have. Yeah. Um, oh, this is your channel. I'm sorry. I'm looking at their channel. When I look and I see 7.7 .7 million views, right, from nine months ago, yeah. be more, the Scientology TV channel Super Bowl, I am almost betting that they paid yes. to there's promote a, this. There's a click, click farm in India and all that. You can, when, when, song, when people want to release a song and want it to hit the top 10 in records, yep. <laughs> They, they buy, pay. you can buy likes and you can buy, um, well, yeah. there are cook farms, but you can always tell because suddenly in 24 hours, there are 3 million views and the next day, 3 million and then nothing. So <laughs> the robots yeah. or whatever machinery, they, they can't, they can't have these click farms can't have 7 million people working for them to click a video. Okay, so you are a one-man band and you don't have your own TV station. Scientology said that once they have Scientology TV, they would just take the world. They're always making propaganda 
claims to make themselves sound gigantic, enormous, overwhelmingly large. Apparently, large means goodness. <laughs> and they were caught red-handed. They were showing screenshots of people, audience viewing an event. And they put in all these, the same bots who were recognized. <laughs> So they were filling in crowds with fake people with no necks and fake, the same redhead was dotted all in. They will do anything. And, and they don't see this as lying. They see this as an acceptable truth. They redefine the word lie. Yeah. To acceptable truth. Anyway, um, Der uh, Derek, I'm really glad you showed your stats. You're a mover and shaker. Wow. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Without your own TV channel, and as a one-man band <laughs> sitting in a little studio with just your equipment, you have more views on Myth Vision podcast than the whole orchestrated army of Scientologists parading around in their fake Navy uniforms, taking the planet <laughs> with a whip. <laughs> with their fake navy uniforms right there there it is uh, you know it, it is interesting i could tell that they probably paid um to have a lot of these videos promoted uh, or at least seem to pay maybe to have some of these promoted but some of them um barely even have any views which is odd so it's it's just kind of weird uh how their channel looks it the past 30 days i done more than double what they've done and i'm a small channel so i'd be shocked be interested to see how many subscribers they have on youtube because they hide that amount and that is a huge red flag to me on a corporation like this why are you hiding how many youtube subscribers i can't see your subscriber count mm. which is odd so mm. it is interesting i'm going to keep up the good work and uh it does tell me how many views the total of the channel has, but it doesn't say how many subscribers. I think that that's a, that's a number they probably oh, wouldn't want to come up with. I never thought of that. You see, how can they say they have 12 million members if they have 30,000 subscribers? But I think you could buy fake subscribers, no? Yeah, I think you them. could, but YouTube usually funnels through that stuff. See, um, everything I do is raw and authentic. I know of people who've done that. I've been in the YouTube world five, six years. Mm -hmm. YouTube usually each year cuts mm -hmm. off all the dead fat cells, if you will, of the, <laughs> the, 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 the dead subscribers that aren't real. Mm -hmm. They usually can find that out and cut them off and it's not going to stick. Whereas mm -hmm. um, there's a reason they're not showing them. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. And they don't like the numbers that they see. I mm -hmm. bet you if they had a million or 2 million or something subscribers on YouTube, they would be showing that. This is what is most resented by people who worked in there a long, long time. There is no transparency. They get a million dollar donation and, a, and they brag they just got five million and nobody knows where the money goes. They could never be, a, do you know something called trust advisor that measures charities and gives five, if you're an authentic charity, 501c3, it's it, trust advisor uh, monitors trustworthiness and fake in mm -hmm. charities. And Scientology doesn't subscribe or allow any <laughs> inspection inward to see because nobody knows where the money goes. There's no... They never show, well, we spent 30% for promotional. It's all hidden. So all the donations anyone gives get swallowed into the black holes of the nebula. Mm. Never does anyone know what they do. The IRS have a law against stockpiling. If you're going to take 501c3 privileges, you can't, I guess the IRS doesn't want 
one company becoming so huge and vast with reserves that it could take on the US government after getting the privilege to be tax free for all those years. Ah. Scientology stockpiles money. Jeffrey did some brilliant research. You know, he's a private investigator, yeah. but he yeah. did this research before he was a PI. And he found the certain tax returns of theirs had to be published because it was income outside of religious income. For example, they have a golf course at the end base that they rent out. Well, renting out a golf course is not religious. It's commercial. And you have to fill in IRS uh, submissions on any money that wasn't under the 501c3. And Jeffrey found out they have $3 billion in cash. Now, that's nothing like the Jehovah's Witness. Do you know how much they have? $102 billion? You should just, it's all on the web. Wow. The Mormon church have like, a, a, the Mormon church have staggering, more, more, more like a hundred million Edwards. But this is cash. Oh, Derek, you've got to do a show, show. How much money do they really stockpile? While with the beggar bowl plate for your donation, they never reveal to you, hey, we're stashing three billion back there. Now, how much Jeez. will you do today? You, you should do, you, you, I really wish, maybe I could have those stats for you on another show. Yeah, I that would be a fun know, one. Especially the cult, you know, the sort of quasi religion bordering on cult like Jehovah's Witness and, and how much cash do they have? It's mind boggling. Wow. I thought 3 billion were staggering. Then I found out Jehovah's Witness have like 102 billion. It's it's there on documented. Not this is not me inflating anything. Right, right, right. So yeah. they're, still, they're still tiny. It's a small dying cult. Well, I hope it continues, especially after everything I've heard. Ladies and gentlemen, like the video, comment positive feedback for such a wonderful outfit as that that Karen is wearing. <laughs> And uh, everybody salute her right now. <laughs> and until oh, next Derek. time, you know, uh, any final words? Derek, I, want, I, I just want to thank the whole concept of metaphysic. Please do a patron. Please do a donation. Contribute to this momentum. Derek works morning, noon, and night. No paycheck, no payroll. Lives only on a little something here and there. Please contribute. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, Derek. -bye. Bye, we are Myth Vision.